what is 211? So it's a free and confidential information and referral service. It's health and human services. So what people can do is they can dial 211 from their mobile phone, they can text to 211, or they can use a landline to call 211 to get services or referrals or help in human and health areas, such as financial assistance for rent, mortgage, utilities. They can also call for health issues, and that can be mental health issues, that can be looking for a new doctor in our community. They can also call for childcare, looking for a place for their children to go. School system is involved in that. It also helps people um, that have come into our community, that have lived somewhere else, that do not have any idea what's available in Henderson. They can call this service and they can ask for information about what resources we have in Henderson that might help them navigate our community a little bit easier. 211's vision, a community where everyone has access to resources that they need in order to thrive. What can I call 214? So here's just a list. You can call for basic needs, animal services, aging and disabilities, workforce development, and like I said, the mental and health, mental and physical health financial assistance, and also domestic violence. We have over 1,400 plus programs. So we grow, we expand partnerships, and we increase information. This program, 211, has been very big in our Golden Triangle uh, counties. So that's Lexington, Louisville, and the greater Cincinnati area. They've probably had 211 for the last 15 years. Uh, this end of Western Kentucky has just really been behind the times. Also, there's a financial piece to this that United Ways have to, have to invest in on our own. So we're happy we could bring it, but we are still growing and we are still expanding the services that we're offering. How can you reach? So here are some ways you can reach 211. You can dial it. There's also a, another phone number for those who Maybe you don't have a mobile phone, you can text your zip code to the following number. You can go to our website and chat. We also have a smartphone application that you can put on your phone. This is available 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. That is very important for people to understand. This is not, does not have a time limit. Also, something else that we tell people, you're not talking to an automated thing when you call. You're talking to a real person. Our call center for Henderson County is in Lexington with United Way of the Bluegrass. They have 24 hour a day individuals that sit in that call center and answer phone calls. Doesn't matter if it's a holiday or not or if it's a Monday or a Sunday, they're there. You're going to talk to an actual individual and that's very important for people to understand as they call this service. So we always wanna know about the data. What is the data that we're seeing? How does the data affect us as we move forward with our resources here in Henderson? So before we go in and I show you the dashboard about where we are currently, I want to tell you, the information you're gonna to see today, you can access yourself. You don't need me. You don't need an administrator code or password. You can go to the website 211counts.org and you can go in and click on our state of Kentucky, go to the United Way of the Bluegrass and you can pull up and I'm going to show you here in a minute how to do that, our data on who's calling and what they're calling about in our community, not another community, Henderson County. Please understand that the operators that take these phone calls these operators at the end of each phone call ask an individual if they would like a phone call back. So if I call in, the operator is going to say they need my name and a contact number for me. They're going to ask me where I'm located and the services I'm looking for. At the end of our conversation, they're going to say, Ms. Clements, could I call you back in seven or 10 business days? to see if you were able to get the services you needed in Henderson County. The key to this particular service is we want people 
to say, yes, please call me back. Because we get data from United Way of the Bluegrass telling us what services have worked, maybe what services aren't working, who might not be open anymore, or maybe they're not providing these services in our community any longer. That's very important for us to keep our web, our, our web base up to date with information and services that are readily and currently available. So looking at two and one counts, we're, I'll do questions in a minute. And I'm gonna get off of this and I'm gonna go to a new screen. <clears throat> Maybe I am. Stop sharing. There we go. Okay. Can you all, let's see if it's going to share now. There it is. <laughs> it keeps going back to my. Let me drag my thing, my screen over here. Can you all see it now? Okay, this is the dashboard. So when you go to 211counts.org, you're gonna click on the state of Kentucky. Then you're gonna click on United Way of the Bluegrass, which is our call center. Up here at the top, this is where you're gonna choose your data display. You wanna choose our zip code, which is 42420. And then you can go in and you can choose when you want to see data from. Yesterday, the last seven, 30, 90s, all the way up to the last year. I'm gonna do 90 days. In Henderson County, the total calls that were made in the last 90 days have been 2,689, and the total request from those phone calls has been 3,307 requests. Then you can look at what the percentage is in the categories listed here of what they're calling about. Our largest category, as a lot of you know, and Cindy Burton definitely does with the Homeless Coalition, housing and shelter are huge in our community right now. Rent assistance is at the top at 61.4%. The housing and sheltering piece over here to your left is at 48%. 0.9%. This is extremely important for us as nonprofits to be able to see what needs are being called about. Helps us when we go out and ask for funding, grant opportunities. It also gives our for profits, our corporations, a good idea of what needs are here in our community to help them with their outreach. Also, it helps their employees. It's a conversation starter for their employees. Knowing where their employees are at, especially during COVID-19, is important. These numbers are elevated right now because of COVID-19. I wanna be very upfront. We have pre-COVID-19, the total calls we were looking at were anywhere between about 250 to 375 total calls with about 275 total requests. But since March, these this is where we stand because of COVID. Now, you guys can scroll down and you can see the top 10 highest rates of requests for housing and shelter, the zip codes that are included there. You can see, you can hide, you can look and hover and you can find out um, our poverty rate how we compare to the state, our rental housing state rate. You can even find out about uh, diplomas, people who have finished college, finished high, finished high school. You can see where we rank as a state or as compared to the state average. So these are important things for you all to see and know and how to access. I know some of this is a little overwhelming and a lot to swallow, um, but it's important for you all to have a good understanding of where we're at in our 2 in one service here in this community currently. Does anybody have any questions about 2 one one or any of the services that are provided through 2 one one or any questions about the dashboard that you might see? 
Melissa, um, fellow Rotarian Susan Sauls uh, is the executive director of, of the Volunteer and Information Center. You yes. probably work with her, I would, I would assume. She's yes. not. Uh, she's not on the call. I checked our list here a second ago. Uh, she's out of out of town. Uh, how does how does this database compare with what uh, VIC has been producing? Uh, as a minister, I can tell you that we've been using VIC for for some years. Um, how how do, how does this compare, or does this supp how, What's what's the uh, the 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 overlap, I guess. So you're talking about the community resource guide that Vic has put out. Uh, they used to put it out in a multi-year fashion. And this is kind of what happened was Vic wasn't the only organization across the state that did something like that. What they were finding was people were not able to access those community resource guides in a timely fashion. And those resource guides, what happened was they were calling the actual organizations and they weren't getting callbacks. So they were getting frustrated and people couldn't get the resources they needed or the help they needed in a timely fashion. So the, the state of Kentucky, a group in Frankfurt, uh, along with United Ways, came together to start helping these organizations with their own community resource guides and 211 was kind of birthed out of that. You could still use the community resource guides. So this kind of complements that. It's just a faster way to get the resources you need. Some people still believe and want to use what's provided and they can. What we tell them is if they call us, we say, if you're calling the actual organization, you will have to wait for them to call you back and help you. If you call 211, they're going to direct you to where you need to go today to get the help you need. So it's, Melissa, it's a I think he's talking about, uh, I'm sorry, I think he's talking about how uh, organizations can check that database and see if a recipient has received help from other organizations. So you cannot do it that way. The recipient has to say to the operator they want to call back and they want their information recorded and sent to the organization. Due to confidentiality and privacy, we cannot release that information without the caller's permission. And we don't have a lot of that happening right now. Imagine that. So, sorry, I was thinking about the resource guide because it's very similar to what we do. And also something to notice on the dashboard to your right, you'll see a column that says unmet. Does everybody see that column? What that means, those percentages tell you the unmet need in those categories. That means we could not in this community meet that need at that percentage. So the rent assistance where it's at 61.4%, 26% of that we could not meet here in Henderson. Unfortunately, that's the realization right now. We're having to send people out of our community to get help because we just do not have it here to provide. Any other questions about the information I've given you today? Y'all are really quiet. I'm not used to that. Okay. Well, if you have questions or you think of something, you can email me. Amber has my contact information. I'm sure she'll be happy to share that with you. Also, if you would like to have some 211 rack cards or magnets that you want to give out to employees or individuals that you think might need some help, especially during COVID, in the response to COVID-19, we have those here at the United Way office and we'll be happy to share those with you. I appreciate you letting me be on today. I hope you all have a happy and blessed day and please stay well and healthy through this. Thank you very much, Melissa. I know that unfortunately we booked you last November and then we had you scheduled for May and then we had to cancel for May and had to just got you one now and I apologize and this COVID-19 just messed up our whole schedule. So almost a year later, thank you very much. Okay.
Um, I will say next week we have Bill Stevens with WSON, our 2020 hometown hero. He is going to be our guest speaker. Um, and Jennifer Andrews will be running the meeting because I will, I will be unable to. So our president elect will be in charge next week. Um, and if you have anything, um, we're here for you. And if not, have a great week. We will see you next week. Bye. Bye-bye. Oh.